Conscious living. It is important to have balance in your life. And this is the time to ground yourself so you can ease into changes. Instead of crashing or going too fast, take the time to have counsel. Feel the value of your work. Give thanks for the good things in your life. And enjoy the blessings you do have. We have no preconceived notions about what you can achieve. The sky is the limit, really, if you could see clearly. Do not put yourself into a box and feel constrained. Instead, imagine yourself giving gifts freely and do something kind each day. Every day, sing out a good thought or a blessing or a poem. Write a letter. Talk to the creator. Notice how you can be helpful. Plan for good things to happen. Make something come true. This is how you build with intention. Radiance 1998. Conscious Living. Hello. Hi. Hi, Elijah. How are you, Bob? Pretty good. Uh, how's life in Germany? It's relaxed. It's, yeah, it's fine. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Same in Japan. Very yeah. we have cool weather now, finally. So I'm happy. Okay. Yay. I mean, does it even snow in Japan? Uh, it's a long country. It's like it starts out in the tropics and then it ends up like 46 degrees latitude. Okay. Still south of you, though, I think. So they get snow in the, in the northern part of Japan. Yeah. My wife is from the northern part. We're both from the same latitude, so we like the same climate. So that was yeah. lucky. <laughs> Uh, let's see what's new. Oh, Barb's visiting her family in Ohio. Mm -hmm. Be uh, they're, they're having a lot of issues with uh, medical problems. Okay. So she's just there to help them for a while. But I think she'll be back in a few weeks. Okay. Keep her. We'll keep her. We'll keep her in for family in prayer. Um. Do you have any spiritual topics mm. to discuss? Spiritual topics. What should I say? Mm, I have. Just... Several. I have. So <clears throat> Excuse me. I have several. Th yeah. Here's some. Uh, one. Owaspi never speaks about blessing people like Radiance does. It talks about right yeah. ceremonies. So what does that mean exactly? Uh, two, <clears throat> how would you compare praying on your own or blessing on your own with, when you pray with others and bless with others? How do you, I don't know, if, if either of those grab your attention, we can talk about it or not. We don't have to. What was the second one again regarding blessing? Uh, what's your how's, your how's your experience been so far? We've both, there's only two of us today. But yeah. when you're with a group of people, maybe it's three or more <laughs> or two or more. Uh, how do you feel? What do you feel is the reality of praying and blessing on your own versus with as a group? How does that? How does that I'm trying to analyze, or I'd like to discuss how that, of, what's the reality of those situations? How, do, how should we look at them? What's the implications? Um, I mean, Radiance uh, reveals, like the angels re reveal in Radiance, that the more people engage in a common blessing or prayer or something like that, the more powerful the result will be. For example, the Hopi Indians were able to summon rain simply by blessing in, large, in a large group. And many people can create a dynamo together. A dynamo That's, for spiritual power. Yeah, I really love the Hopi uh, Native Americans. Uh, yeah, that's true. So we... More numbers, more power, basically, is what you're saying. And uh, 
I know I talked to the last session, I talked with Candy and Mike, and we both said, we all agreed that we felt something within us too. When we finished, it was like, I, we weren't the same persons. We felt like there's a better connection with the heavens or something, or we felt more attuned. I'm not sure I'm trying to say, but there was a deeper, there was some sort of happiness related to our praying for others. I think it's a good sign. Yeah, I, I pray on my own and I bless on my own. Um, and I, I do get a good feeling too, but it's not as strong as when I'm with other people. So yeah, you, you probably could, you're just going to confirm that. Say, yeah, that's right. I mean, it is how it should be. So we're making everything right, I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Topic closed. <laughs> Uh, what was the first question again? Uh, why, why radiance is so much different yeah, than well, waspy? Ra radiance. I've always looked to see if there's anything in a waspy that even talks about blessing others or praying for others. And most of it's kind of negative. It's like, get out there and work for people. Go out into the soup kitchen or, or take people into your home or rake leaves for the older person or uh donate money to a good cause enough words but radiance says well you 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 have a spiritual um path where you're supposed to uh <clears throat> learn to uh, create positive thoughts where you and send them out to people in your life or to groups in the world areas of the world and this is a worthy kind of good work service in itself. But Awasabi doesn't talk about that even one time, as far as I can tell. What yeah. do you make of that? So Awasabi and Radiance have two different origin stories and two different functions. Although the same angels have channeled Awasabi and Radiance, they are still majorly different. Um, Awasabi was channeled by angelic scientists who like uh, derived who the knowledge from books from the heavenly libraries and then joined them together into one larger book like it consists it's it's a bible not a book it's a bible means a collection of many books right. and the goal of oaspi <clears throat> is like to reveal to humankind the true history of earth Mm. and also to encourage humans to become one with the creator. And if you become one with the creator, then you can, for example, Zarathustra being the best example, you can become a great prophet. But I think Radiance goes a few steps further. Radiance is a collection of multiple channelings mm. which ha have taken place in a span of maybe 200 years, roundabout, yeah? And that means that the information, the intel we get from Radiance is, on the one hand, more recent, and on the other hand, I think it also has a different direction. I mean, it is, you can see it in the name, Sun Rays of Radiance. Okay, originally mm -hmm. it's called Radiance and Eloise Anthology, like the source, right. but... Radiance. I mean, I've read so many passages in Radiance which tell stories about like the golden sun of benevolence and how mm. to become have a radiant aura. And I think that mm. Radiance presents a new, a completely new way of becoming one with the creator, which hasn't been seen which hasn't been seen before. Like, like it is said that the age of the, of the old prophets as we know them is over and a new age has begun. And yeah, I think with the help of Radiance, you not only can become one with the creator, but you can also become that kind of person who is capable of changing the world. Really well stated, <clears throat> very inspiring.
Thank you, Elijah. Yeah, I mean, of course, WASP, WASP itself states that its goal is to teach um, all people to become one with the Creator, to hear the Creator's voice directly communicating. So it does have that goal too. And it speaks of the need to come together as a group and work towards solving the different societal problems in, in, in whatever way you can figure out, I guess. And to put aside religious cult kind of dogma and just stick with the universal principles. So in that sense, they're similar. I see that uh, a WASP inspired me to become a volunteer in Africa for four years, where I would dedicate some part of my life just to working with the poor. And it changed my life. And I, I felt a higher spiritual, when I was there, I felt the, the attunement you were speaking of, it was high, it's higher than I have now. So I'm trying to say, I felt uh, trans, a, a bit transformed. And I, I sometimes, I sometimes it comes back to me in different ways. Maybe when I was teaching, I felt it sometimes, but or a lot. But <clears throat> it, anyway, it's made me realize that unless I'm engaged in some type of service, that I don't, that I won't, <laughs> I won't feel as much. I mean, you can always feel oneness just by breathing. But there's some sort of electrical, spiritual power reality that's that's out there in the universe and i think we i think we're all trying to uh feel that ever more fully ever more deeply and radiance on the other hand which i started reading in africa a faith this rosemary day sent me a, a, some copies and i said wow this is amazing and it was just like what you just said it's a new kind of uh, spiritual outlook on life and I it's taken years to figure out how to fulfill it a bit and this group the circle we're a part of is a, just the beginning steps of trying to fulfill that I think no yeah. so it seems the books complement each other really well and they're in harmony, but they both have an important message that is distinct in some ways. I, I wish I could find something in a WASP about blessing, but I guess it wasn't made for that. It, it wasn't time for the world. Uh, to yeah, know. it's a more informative book. Like, it's not. Uh, a practical guidebook like Radiance. It's just like, I mean, it is a collection of books from the heavenly libraries and it's like, I don't know, it's only a recollection of, yeah. Knowledge. Uh, knowledge yeah. Historical knowledge, spiritual principles. Yeah. And um, it's a good thing. Because mm -hmm. the good thing about Waspi is that it is very detailed. Like, it is a very clear outlook on life. Like, it's like you can find, a, a, like, you can find any answer in Waspi basically regarding your life, how you shall leave, lead your life, what you should avo avoid. Like, it's very, like, it, it is very clear. Yeah. Very clear. I, I was going to use the same word. I was thinking the same word you said, very clear. Yeah, it's very clear. And there's not that much room for interpretation. I agree. I agree so much. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, one thing I've kind of, I don't know if I want to say it's rationalization or what, or just figuring stuff out, but I thought to myself, the angels do not have physical bodies. We someday will be a, at least a spirit, if not an angel, until we have oneness with the creator to some degree, probably 50%. So I've been thinking for the past five or six years that when you can create a blessing, you're creating positive thoughts. And that's really all the angels do. 
is they create an energy of thoughts, of positive thoughts. So when they heal someone, whether they're a spirit or a mortal, or help them become more attuned with the creator, using help using some of their thoughts, whether it's through art or a blessing, I'm not really sure, music. But they're using their thoughts. So we're kind I feel like what we're doing with the radiance path is sort of taking the first steps as angels who training your mind to create positive thoughts, blessings to help others. And that in itself is kind of a good work. The angel's good work is positive thoughts that are create that create a new, better reality. And that's what we're doing here. I think that radiance not only helps people to create blessings, but I think it furthermore helps someone to become a blessing. And I think if you, I mean it literally, and if you become the personification of a blessing, then everything you do and everything you say is automatically a blessing. So I think there is, on the one hand, an active approach of blessing people, but I think, which is the ultimate goal of Radiance, that there is also a passive way of blessing people. And I think it is possible for you to become so positive, to become so attuned to the creator. Is someone else there? Yeah. Ah. Candy's here. Yeah. Hello. Go Hi, Candy. Hi, Bob. Elijah. Hi. Hello. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Uh, we're talking about what um, what a blessing means, and uh, Elijah's making some marvelous points on this. Go ahead, finish your thoughts on this, Elijah. I think the ultimate goal of Radiance is to become like to become a blessing in such a way that everything you do and you say is automatically a blessing. That yeah. your presence alone is a blessing, basically. And I think that is the ultimate goal, that you become such a role model. Yeah. It, it sounds like are you hear this term, a self-sustaining sun, uh, nova, uh, the, the soul power. You somehow have, you've got it so that you're not just sending out rays of blessings, energy, that yes. somehow you start some kind of chain reaction within your soul, inner being that, is a perpetual cr creation of it, kind of almost unconsciously. That yes. you're sending up. I, I think that's a beautiful thought. And yes. I, think the, I think it's the truth too, but you just said it's very true. It's, I had not thought of that really so clearly. But of course you have to start small, right? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not, <laughs> we're not, uh, <laughs> we're not sun gods yet or even- We're not Fraga Patty. What's that? We're not Fragapati. We're not Fragapati yet, no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're not even Guardian Angel or anyway, but we're we're just trying to take our first steps. Which reminds me, I read in Radiance yesterday or two days ago, it said use one mortal day of progress is like having one year of progress in the heavens. So it's like so your mortal life is very important. If you can make some progress in your life spiritually in one day, that's equal to one year in habit to make the same kind of progress. Isn't that something? Where do you have the information from? Radiance. I can find the issue. So one day equals one year, one in, year. Heaven, in heaven. Okay, I, interesting. I don't think he needs equals. It's just... Equivalent the the, the, the yeah. seriousness of what we can accomplish here is yeah. is much greater than we understand. Hmm. I'll find. I'll. Uh, do I have it? <laughs> I listened to a video last night uh, about a woman who who has a website called Perfect Parent, and uh, she wants us to reflect and she's talking about the fact she's never heard of a waspy uh probably uh but to reflect on before we incarnated uh why did we choose the parents we chose uh, and why did we choose the children we chose 
Uh, uh, you believe that we chose our parents? Yes. I, I, I'm not, I'm push, I'll, I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm just pushing back on it a little bit. I, I'm not sure I accept that. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I mean, there is like okay, we choose, it's complicated. We choose our our uh, our parents because of what we can accomplish on our, you know, our goals spiritually and I mean in every way, and so anyway. I, I think it's good that parents are reflecting uh, on such things. I think there are two ways. Well, go ahead. I think go there ahead, are Roger. two ways to approach that uh, thesis. Uh, I mean, on the one hand, the angels confirm that our personality, as we can identify ourselves with, that it is like created during conception for the first time. So our personality does have a beginning. But on the other hand, the angels from Radiance confirm also that the human spirit consists of three states, which are the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, and then there is the super conscious mind. And the super conscious mind is the creator himself. Which means that every human is basically, or every, every spirit is basically an avatar of the creator the means with which the creator perceives the universe. And so in a way, you are right. The creator, as mm. a superconscious mind, basically yeah, chooses the parents for ah. a special purpose. I like that very much, the explanation. So so now I agree with you. <laughs> I, can... I, mean that, I mean, that also explains, like, do you remember that one section ah. in Asby where it is stated that it is possible for a seer to see the past and the future like an open book. But there was mm -hmm. one verse in Oasby which says that it is possible for a seer not only to see his birth, but also to see what, or his conception, but also to see what happened before his mm -hmm. conceptions. And in the past, I asked myself, how is it possible to see what is before your conception if the conception is the beginning of your personality? But after the knowledge from from the angels, I now understand it, yeah. Because, like, mm. the creator existed before our conception and is our superconscious mind. Thank you, Candy. I understand. That's a very great uh, spiritual observation and now i understand what you're saying okay well i love our conversations but i guess we're supposed to be Praying. getting at these blessings right yes uh let's let's start now uh i'm just choosing a random passage from <clears throat> if i can if the, if the, if the browser will, okay, three, two, one, okay. Ah. Candy, can you read this passage when I, or begin reading this passage when I post it? And we'll start the session. I'm making the sign of the creator just because... Okay, and this is from Radiance. Candy, could you read the first paragraph? Is it okay? is it cool? Uh, I think I can. Go ahead. <clears throat> Some it start. Does it start with the word something? No. Uh, okay, I, I got. I'll find the beginning. We uh, have no preconceived notions about what you can uh, achieve. One more. One paragraph this, before that. A little earlier. Oh. Okay, conscious, conscious living. living. Yeah. It is important to have balance in your life. And this is the time to ground yourself so you can ease into changes instead of crashing or going too fast. Take the time to have counsel. Feel the value of your work. 
Give thanks for the good things in your life and enjoy the blessings you do have. We have no preconceived notions about what you can achieve. The sky is the limit. Really, if you could see clearly, do not put yourself into a box and feel constrained. Instead, imagine yourself giving gifts freely and do something kind each day. Every day, sing out a good thought or a blessing or a poem. Write a letter. Talk to the creator. Notice how you can be helpful. Plan for good things to happen. Make something come true. This is how you build with intention. Thank you so much. Uh, world prayers. Anyone would like to start? Blessing prayer for the world. Okay, I'll just dive in. I'm not. I have no idea what I'm going to say, but here we go. O oh, Creator, our our world is our family, is your gift to us. It is a transformational sphere where we realize how to create love within ourselves, to, to feel love for all persons in our world. And I think that's my prayer, that we will, that ever more love could be generated for everybody else, that everyone just focus on loving one another, I guess. Um, We have a uh, trucker stop in uh, America, a chain of them, and it's called Love. Oh, ah. <laughs> let's have breakfast there after we finish. Or... <laughs> yes, <laughs> and one just opened up in my little town, and it's it's kind of shocking to see this, and it's wonderful uh -huh. to see, you know, uh, Love's uh, Drive Us, <laughs> I think is their motto. From, from now on, all... Uh, Places will be named after spiritual principles, I think. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> here's the affirmation. Can you say it? everyone? This should say everyone in our world, not is our world. So three, two, one. Everyone in everyone our world, world, world learning to share their to love. Share love. Ever more, every ever every more, day. sorry. Every <laughs> day. Every day. Everyone in our and world, in our world is, is learning, learning to share their love, love. Evermore. Evermore. Every day. Every day. Everyone in the world, world is learning, is learning to share their love. love. Evermore. Evermore. Every Every day. Day. Silently, please. do the heart thing uh, <laughs> uh, more love is coming into my world does it work wait <laughs> yeah no okay That's, yeah but the, the re reaction uh can you we're going to get to your good news i think in a moment do you have any world prayer uh, well <clears throat> i was reading from uh, the book of jehovah uh, in the beginning of the light of Danya, the spirits of the newly dead shall have power to take upon themselves the semblance of corporeal bodies and appear and talk face to face with mortals. And Jehovah said, and when it shall come to pass in any of the times of Danya that these signs are manifest, man shall know that the host of the Most High come soon after. Thank you. Would you like to put that into an affirmation of some kind or a blessing? May uh, the peoples of earth be ready to recognize the signs of the most high coming. Of the all high coming? Well, in the WASP, it says, though, it says the host of the Most High. Oh, of the host um, of the All High. You know, it's talking about every 3,000 years. Oh, okay. Jehovah gave this oh, sign on Earth. Okay. okay. Uh, guys, my letter F has gone out on my keyboard. So 
Okay. The peoples of earth be ready to recognize the signs of the hosts of the all high. Is that okay? Yes. Three, two, one. May the, the peoples, peoples of earth, of earth be, be ready, ready to ready recognize, recognize the signs, signs of the hosts of all high. May the peoples, May the peoples of, of earth, earth be ready, ready to recognize, recognize the signs, signs of, of the hosts of the Lord all high. May the peoples, May the people of earth be ready, ready to recognize, recognize the signs most of the whole in all most of all Thank you. Thank, thanks, Candy. Thanks. Okay. Elijah, would you share what you have? Yeah. Mm, in Radiance, it is revealed that every negative thought, every selfish thought, basically creates a dark underworld, which is which inspires people on Earth, dictators, for example, to uh, become tyrants and to like oppress humans even further. And it is a cycle, basically, of people empowering the underworld and of the underworld inspiring people to oppress other people, which in turn in, like inspires them to be even more selfish because of the bad um, circumstances around them. And I think it is our mission and the wish of the creator for, for us to break that cycle and quite the opposite to create a cycle which destroys evil and which inspires people to become selfless and to affiliate with one, one another so I think the perfect affirmation would be may all humans unite and free the world from all evil. Yeah. Really great. Thank you. Three, two, one. <clears throat> may may all humans wins. unite and, and free the world from all evil. All evil. May, May all humans, humans unite right? and free the world from, from all evil. evil. May, May all humans unite and, and free the world, the world from all evil. Evil. Thanks a lot for that. Let's do that. Uh, group prayers. Uh, does anybody have an idea on that? Or is Candy mm. still here? Okay. Uh, Candy may have gone offline. Well, we'll continue. Yeah. The we'll continue. Yeah, the only ones right now. Okay. Uh, any group? Should I go? Should you go? Do you have any group? So you'd like to pray for Elijah, or should I just take a yeah, shot? Yeah, I have, actually. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, today, my parents and I talked about the teachers of my siblings, and they had so many new ideas how they want to approach school and how to approach teaching. And the thing is that on the one hand, the points the teachers made sounded very appealing. But on the other hand, I could also see behind um, the appealing like plans and I could see 
like I could sense the agenda behind it basically and in which direction this is going to go. And I'm not really happy about the direction they're trying to go to. But I think teachers like have maybe I, I think the teachers might have the highest responsibility in society mm -hmm. because yeah. teachers basically raise our children to lead the next generation to like sustain the world like the generation from now the children from today they have to sustain the earth of tomorrow so teachers have a very high responsibility and the best way to like become a great teacher is like to be attuned to the will and the wisdom of the creator and that's unfortunately something a luxury many people most and also many teachers don't have unfortunately more most of them don't know the beautiful truth we know so i think the best affirmation regarding that would be may all teachers in the world each of Uh, the creators or teach the creators happy truth. Very, very good. Three, two, one. May all, May teachers, all teachers in the world in the world teach the creators, teach the creators happy, happy truth. truth. May, May all, all teachers. In, in, the world. World. in the world, teach the creators, teach the creators happy, happy truth. truth. May all may all teachers in the world, in the world teach the creators, teach the creators happy, happy truth. truth. Oh, that's great, uh, Candy and I. I as a teacher, I think Candy's had teaching experience. We really understand what you're praying about and we really pray that this blessing go out in full force can you have any group prayers you'd like to pray for can you hear me okay yes all right and of course i have been a, a school teacher uh k through 12 but also i have taught uh classes on uh nice. prayer and meditation and and different classes on spiritual and different classes on a wasp specifically and you're, li and you're living this affirmation yes I, I i am we only have like a few minutes left candy so okay if... let's do uh all uh uh emt uh workers around the world they have such a difficult job and they're often with those who pass over and suddenly so th that's how i want to pray for. May all EMT workers understand the blessings of their endeavors. Okay. okay. Three, two, one. May, May all, all EMT, EMT workers, workers Understand, understand the blessings of, of their endeavors. Their endeavors. May, May all, all, all EMP workers, EMP workers blessings, blessings of their endeavors. May all, all EMP workers understand then the blessings of their endeavors. endeavors. Okay, I only have about a minute left, so here's a quick one. <laughs> My grandchildren are coming home this weekend, and a wonderful Ooh. new friend, a lady, is moving in, and I'm going to feel like it's going to be community, and that's the love that's coming. That's from awesome. Children and adults. Yes. <laughs> prayers, prayers are working. Yes. Fantastic. Three, two, one. 
May all, May all be all the wasps of wasps unite in harmony and love. And love. May all, May all readers, readers of wasps unite, unite, unite in harmony and love. And love. May all readers of wasps unite in harmony and love. Thanks so much. That's such good news. Uh, this uh, so, time's up about. So, any last words or thanks a lot, guys. It was nice seeing you, and I'm looking forward to our next meeting. Same. Yes, on Sunday. Prayer blessing Zoom sessions are held weekly. Please join with us to create light and love blessings for our world. You may have noticed our world could use a lot of good prayers and blessings. Sincerity and good will mean everything in this work. To join a session, email bob at robertbayer3741 at yahoo.com. We are all angels of the Creator in the making. For we are a blessing, as love is our power. Prayer Blessing Zoom Sessions.